Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com and beside me is a Viking no. today. <laughs> a real Viking. Today we have a real Highland Park whiskey and this is for Vikings here. In 1922 AD, Ibn Fadlam, an Arabian envoy from Baghdad encountered a tribe of Viking traders on the Volga River. He described them as tattooed with patterns of trees and figures from head to toe, thousands of miles from the Scandinavian home. Our Viking ancestors stood proudly apart, just as Highland Park does today. Yeah, Highland Park is one of these uh, whiskeys that uh, plays with their Scandinavian ancestry because uh, the Orkney Island was occupied by Scandinavian, I think Norwegians, aren't they? Norwegian, I was quite young. Yeah. <laughs> people from and, that area. Uh, yeah, Vikings. Vikings is just the term for the people who go on their on the raids, who, who go out and, and explore the world in their longships. So actually it was a verb to go Viking. Uh, and it's not a noun. Okay, and this tattoo is not a Viking tattoo, it's a Danish tattoo. Colin Dale is the yeah, Danish tattoo in, artist. In Dan Mark Denmark? As well, yes. Uh, born in Canada. <laughs> well, well uh, Eric the Red went over to America. Yeah, the, the, the Vikings tried to conquer America, but they failed. They failed, but they were there. <laughs> they, they tried, but they actually got were overcome by the, what do you call it, uh, the natives. Yeah. They, they fought against the natives, but they lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this cask, uh, these are casks, uh, 153 uh, Rioja first fill wine casks. Mm, no, no, the 153 casks are both the first fill Rioja cask as well as the oh. first fill bourbon casks. They laid down on May 11th, 2000 and October 27th, 2001. Filled into 220 liter first fill Jocha wine casks in January and March 2016. So, so it they, is a, a cast maturation. It's a finishing. It is a finishing, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. 70 first fill bourbon casks. Ooh, they write it in different, com very complex way. So 153 Rioja cask and 70 first fill bourbon cask. So it's a uh, one to, to two, mixture one to two. Mm -hmm. If you just read the bold ones, it, it tells you a different story. So, it's, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they are only filtered at four degrees centigrade, so it's no chill filtration. Yeah, it's strange, uh, but you do have to chill the liquid if you fill a... Uh, Filter it at 40 degrees Celsius, or is, is it so cold up there? <laughs> uh, no, no, no. You have to, to chill it, but not to free, uh, below freezing of water. So this is uh, a normal uh, cooling of the whiskey. Then a, a lot of a these... Cool filtering. A cool filtering. But yeah. it is not uh, colored. So this is the natural color of yeah. the whiskey. So those first filiochakas give a lot of color to the whiskey. You don't don't have a red shining, do you? Oh, just a smidge of it. Mm, not really. It's golden. Mm. But it's very intense from the flavor. Mm-hmm. Vanilla sweet. And if you have it for a short time, then a little bit of peat appears, but only very few. There it is. Kind of berries, kind of lighter fruitiness. There are a lot of berries in there, but you do have a little smoke and some peach, some melon or something like, yeah, honey melon or something like that. And it reminds me of uh, melon with ham, even though it's more on the peach side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, hmm? Mm. Oh, so it's 46.7 ABV. It's close to 100 euros, dollars, pounds, and mm -hmm. it's 16 years of age. And those 
Rioja Cast, they show an intense spiciness. Mm -hmm. oh. mm. First sip was a bit more settled down, more round. Friendly. Now it got much more kick. Sweet when you have juicy. it in your mouth, you realize, oh, very smooth, very mm. liquid. And then you swallow it and you realize, oh, there's a lot of spice. There's a lot of oak oh, and tons of fruitiness in there. Tons of fruitiness. A little bit of berries in there. Mm. I like it. Mm. I can take one of these bottles on my raids. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I like it. Mm. Yeah, it's very massive, very intense. And it should be the is said to be the successor of the full volume I had just a few days ago. And these Rioja casks give a lot more of intensity, um, even when the full volume had a little bit more of ABV, so mm. 47 point something. So this one is mm. more hefty. Yeah. Mm. So this is priced roughly the same way as the 18 year old is. But this mm -hmm. is limited, even those 200 casts or 210 casts is quite a lot. So it mm -hmm. should be available for a longer time. Mm -hmm. um, it's, well, it's worth the relative more money because it's only 16 years because of the better cast selection or the more intense cast selection. The 18 year old is very smooth and cherry and the full volume is even a little bit less than this one. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, it can can hold up to the 18 years old. It is very mature and good quality and, and it stays in your mouth. Mm. Mm. The, the smoke goes away pretty fast, but the, the, the oak and a lot of the, the uh, berries and that kind of stuff, fruitiness stays in your mouth. Oh, I like it. A little ginger mm. in the back. I like it. Yeah. yeah, Highland Park is generally quite a good distillery. Okay. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time.